Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing. You can follow my personal social media at Adriana underscore sports. Enjoy. We go here with Fino Boxing here with Alexander Lopez for all the belts in June 19 in Miami. First and foremost, thank you so much for taking the time. You know, how does it feel just being in this environment, leaving Australia, leaving your family, the sacrifices? How do you put that into work? Look, it, it's nothing new because I've been doing it for so many years. You know, I've been going to the backyards of former champions. I've been preparing overseas. You know, this is nothing new, but again, it's always a tough kick. Now, Delfimo obviously, you know, said a lot of things during the media workouts. In a sense, he was looking past you as well. He said he was going to knock you out. You know, what do you make of that? Showing that, seeing that confidence in Delfimo, and in a sense, looking past you, looking at Devin Haney, looking at Ryan Garcia, Josh Taney. What does that tell you? No problem. He can say whatever he wants to say. We have a game plan. We are ready for what we're going to bring to the table but at the end of the day I feel that he's talking a lot and trying to dis diminish me and, and put me to the side because he knows what he's coming up against it's like that uh, that sparring time that you don't you don't want to spar but he's there in the gym you've got to spar him so you don't want to deal with him you want to push him to the side but at the end of the day contract sign you got to see me so he can talk about everyone else you know, in the world but in two weeks we'll be dealing with Cambosis. Now, you, obviously you earned this shot, you are the mandatory. You know, what do you think is going to be more, more surprised once to see you in the ring? Because, I mean, you've seen that press conference, you know, you kind of seem to get under his skin. Do you think that you're going to be talking to him in the ring, or what, how do you see you playing out? I'm a very focused fighter. When I get in that ring, I'm ready for war, I'm ready for battle. So I know what I've got to bring to the table, and I will bring to the table. Like I said, we've had a hell of a camp, best camp of my life. Ten hard weeks here. Great sparring partners, the right people, the right team. Been able to bring my father, my Australian coach, to be in sync with my uh, American coach, Javier Santino. So we're ready. Whatever he brings to the table, you better be ready for what I bring to the table. I'm excited. You think we're going to see the best Oscar Wilson that we've never seen yes. before in 2019? The best Cambos you've ever seen you know, in your life. This is going to shock the world. This is going to, I've got something to prove in this fight. Yeah. I cannot wait. Now, June 19, just how do you put it in respect of being in the stadium, headline and trailer per view? Have you thought about that moment walking out, 30, 35,000 fans, and mostly it's going to be against you? Do you feel the underdog? Does that motivate you knowing that you're going to go in and, and obviously shock the world? Yeah, that's cool. Um, I've dreamt about these these opportunities. I've manifested these these uh, visions. So it might seem real, uh, seem new for you know, a lot of people, for me, but I feel like it's already been there. I've had this happen to me. I've dreamt it, I've manifested it. So, I can't wait. At the end of the day, he's never fought in front of a big stadium. He's never been a big pay-per-view headline. His last fight was behind closed, closed doors you know, in a studio. So, whatever he's doing and, and coming to terms with, with his fight, exactly how I'm dealing with it too. But I can't wait, I'm excited. That's what motivates me when I'm up against the wall. When people believe that you know, he can't do it, that's what drives me that extra bit. And that's how I've been this whole 10 weeks in camp. That's how I've been since I beat Lee Selby. I knew that they would doubt me. They would doubt me for that fight. They didn't think I was going to go into his hometown and beat this former champ. But I did. I did it well. It was never a split decision. I've done it well. And this fight, I'm going to shock a lot of people as well. Correct. Now, he's coming out that great victory against Lomachenko. Uh, a lot of people saw close on the game, especially in the second half of the fight. Is there anything you can take from that fight and apply to this? Do you see holes in Tiffany Lopez's game? Many holes. Many, many holes. The, it's funny because we just watched the fight again yesterday. We watched it multiple times throughout camp, but as we're starting to wrap up camp and all the game plans and everything's been coming up inspiring, and we have to do in this fight and we will do. When you look at that fight even more now, he's a hyped man. He really didn't do much in that fight. Very basic. Unfortunately, Lomachenko just didn't turn up. He lost that fight for himself. Not that Lopez beat him. Lomachenko lost that fight. So, I see the holes. I see the mistakes. I know what I'm going to do in this fight. I know what my abilities are and what I bring to the table. I'm going to expose him. Now, you mentioned that's the decision and victory against Gonzalo. Do you feel you have to go out there and, and possibly stop the from Lopez to be able to get the victory? No, because I have the, 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 the trust in the judges and they will pick the right man to win this fight, which will be me. At the end of the day, it was only a split decision in the UK because of the one UK judge. One 
110, uh, 118 to 110, 10 rounds to two is what the fight was. He watched the fight continuously. He didn't touch me, and that's no disrespect to Solby. Hell of a fighter, great boxer, five, six world title defenses. That's a, that's a, that's a big champion right there. He made it go into his backyard. And he was 32, 33 years of age. No one out of his prime. He had just come off beating Ricky Burns, four division world champion. You know, so showcases and shows what I'm about in that fight. Um, I have the trust in the judges that the right man will, will win. But I'm coming I'm coming to fight. I'm coming to take this kid out. I'm ready by, by any means, whatever way he's got to go. What would it mean, man, not only to you, but obviously your family, your kids, you know, making those sacrifices coming to the U.S. and for the country of Australia to become. Obviously, you know, if you win those belts, you become the greatest Australian fighter of all time. You know, how do you put that into perspective? What would it mean for you to have your hand raised on 119? It excites me so much, but it gives me so much motivation. You know, that's what's, what's been my driving force. You know, like I've said in multiple interviews, I don't have no outside you know, distractions. You know, I've got this, this ball of motivation and, and a loyal, solid team that we are driving to victory and all of that. My kids, my family, my legacy, my name, my country behind me, Australia, Greece. Now, all the people around the world that are supporting me, that are with me, that's what's, what's bottled up and driving me. When I feel like I can't push that barrier, I go even more. I go more because of that. And, um, that's what's, that's what, what's been pushing me through this camp and what's going to push me to victory on June 19th. Now, lastly, why do people have to tune in June 19th, stack with the big boxing cards all over the U.S. and in Mexico? Why do they got to tune in to Truman Perfect and see George Convulsos beat the Fernando you need to watch this fight because you're going to see someone shock the world. The true underdog story where many didn't believe, but he pulls it off. Hey, everyone loves Rocky, right? It's an underdog story. Well, this is my Rocky story. Plus, it's a hell of a show. Great fights, great card, great entertainment. We've got legendary commentators. We've got legendary announcers. And we've got two of the top guys a while away. Duking it out for the Undisputed. I am excited, man. I cannot wait. Definitely. Well, we can't wait. Thank you so much for the time. We're free boxing and we should be collected tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. No problem.